it's so good to have all of you here. Thank you very much, Pam, for that introduction. And uh, I have to say, um, this is a great opportunity to spend some time with fans. You all are so supportive and so much a part of what motivates us in this national agenda that we have been in the midst of for quite some time now. Um, the loyalty that you all show is wonderful. And of course, the athletics team, um, I can't be more grateful to you as well for everything that you've done to hold things together so well on such a great trajectory for this period of time in this interregnum. I want to start uh, by telling you why we're here. We are here because we are going to announce uh, that uh, we have a new leadership opportunity for athletics at Virginia Commonwealth University. And I want to begin by thanking the search committee that helped find a great new director of athletics. And I specifically want to thank Dick Bunce, uh, my partner who has been wonderful um, in terms of chairing this search, but also doing so much to make sure that we got to the right place. We obviously did a very comprehensive and accelerated search. This gave us an opportunity to find just the right person to lead athletics at Virginia Commonwealth University. This is a conference, this, this will move us into a new conference, a new era, and certainly a new uh, chapter of national prominence. So at this point, it is my, I am very proud, it is my honor to introduce to you our new Director of Athletics, Ed McLaughlin. I'd also like to take a moment to introduce um, his family who's here. Um, we have his wife, Shelley, his daughter, Hannah, who is 11, his sons, uh, both Liam, who's eight, and Ryan, who is five. And uh, we're very pleased that all of you are here as well. And we welcome you warmly. I mentioned earlier that we had a great committee that did a, a lot of fantastic work. And we had a couple of board members who were very helpful. And one of the reasons that we are on the trajectory that we are is because we have such supportive board members. And one of them's here today. And on behalf of the board, I'll ask him to stand and be recognized, Stuart Siegel. Thank you, Stuart. He's always here to protect his good name. Mr. McLaughlin joins us from Niagara University where he served as Director of Athletics for six years. We had an exceptional group of applicants from all over the nation, obviously demonstrating for the institution um, where we are now. This is the place to be. And lots of people had a lot of interest in VCU. And we had some great applicants, applicants that we could only have dreamed to have. But Ed rose rapidly to the top of that list. He is clearly the best of the best. He's the right person at the right time. He has the vision, the energy, and the commitment that we need to continue this upward trajectory that we have enjoyed in recent years at Virginia Commonwealth University. He is our ultimate leader for our athletics program, and I have supreme confidence in his ability to take us to yet the very next level. Ed oversaw the greatest period of athletic success in Niagara's, Niagara's history, more conference titles in his six years as AD than in the 75 years combined previously, successfully managed 18 sports teams and more than 300 student athletes. He oversaw five major construction projects and facility renovations. He increased external revenues to the athletics program by more than 300%. During his time there, Niagara set attendance records in several sports. Ed helped build a robust media package that included both television and online resources. He's an exceptional fundraiser. He secured two of the largest gifts in the program's history, very important to us, obviously, and demonstrated his commitment to the academic success of student athletes. 70% of his student athletes have a 3.0 GPA or higher. And above all, one of the most important things to me, he's a partner with an unwavering commitment to ethical standards. So he's not out just to win, he's out to win the right way. His collective experience is going to help him lead our athletics program that is now moving on to a new national stage in the A-10. We're very proud of that. As you know, athletics is an important window for so many who are looking at the university. And as you know, 
we have made it clear that this is a university that is one of the nation's great research universities. It is one of the three great research universities in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Athletics is a really important part of how people look at the university. It is the window through which so many look at the university, and we need our athletics program to be strong, and Ed is going to help do just that. He earned the highest endorsement from the search committee and had the strong support of our coaches, our donors, and university administrators, all of whom uh, he had a chance to meet in the process. We have a very bright future for athletics at VCU with this dynamic new leader. I'm very excited that the next, ch that the next chapter of his promising career is going to be at our institution, at Virginia Commonwealth University. I look forward to many great years of success with you, Ed. Our great coaches are gonna be just in wonderful hands with you and your leadership. And I mentioned our great coaches. We couldn't be happier than, than we are with our great coaches. Um, Ed, you've got a great opportunity ahead of you. Please, everyone, join me in showing Ed McLaughlin a warm Virginia welcome. Fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Oh, we are. Well, needless to say, it is a great day to be a Ram. It's uh, for our family and, uh, and certainly for me personally, it is a great day to be a Ram. Uh, before I start, I, I'd like to thank Dr. Rao, the VCU Board of Visitors, and the Search Committee for having the faith in me and selecting me for this uh, tremendous position. I, I am truly honored and humbled uh, to be in front of you today. Uh, it, is a, uh, it is a huge opportunity for, for me personally, um, and, and it's, it's humbling as well, knowing uh, I'll be among such wonderful people here. I'd like to thank uh, Father Levesque, the president of Niagara University, for giving me six wonderful years uh, there. Um, it certainly shaped me as a person, and uh, you know, it's nice to leave a wonderful university and come to such an extraordinary university, to say the least. Uh, Norwood Teague did a tremendous job with his team uh, of building success here. And, uh, and, and we look forward to building on that success that, that they built as well. Uh, so, you know, all those thank yous and, and the things that have come before us, I'm very fortunate. My family and I have been in Richmond now for a few days. Uh, it's been great. It's exceeded our expectations. It is a truly welcoming community. And everyone says is how welcoming Richmond is, but it really is. And we're excited to be part of the Richmond community as a family. Um, it, what we've enjoyed so far has been tremendous. And, and we look forward to many, many years of being here and, and having fun. Uh, and my kids are already looking at the uh, at soccer program, so they're excited for that. Uh, so it'll be fun. It, it really will be. Apparently, uh, the VCU Ram Nation message board has been uh, banding about things the last few days, trying to figure out who I am and, and what I'm all about. So I thought I'd, I'd share a few things at first uh, to, to introduce myself to the Richmond community. Uh, the biggest speculation was whether or not my hair was real. My family really enjoyed that one, but it is real, I assure everyone. Uh, you know, you can ask my family how long it takes me to, to get it ready in the morning, so, uh, but it is real. But, uh, but all joking aside, uh, you know, I think it is important that you know who I am. Uh, I grew up uh, outside of Boston in, uh, in a family uh, that was, was big on education and hard work. My mom's a school teacher, and, and it's that foundation of education and hard work that, uh, that led me to Boston College as an undergraduate. When I was at Boston College, I fell in love with college athletics, and I knew then I wanted to be a, an NCAA Division I athletic director. Um, I, I knew I, two things, really. I wanted to be a Division I athletic director, and I knew I never wanted to leave college, and, and I've, uh, I've been able to do that. I, I've spent the last 20 Septembers on a college campus, but uh, I'm really excited for September number 21 to be in Richmond this fall. I really am. Uh, it, it's going to be wonderful. Uh, I think it's really important as well that you, that you not only know where I'm from, but, but who I am and what I believe in. I, I certainly, as Dr. Rao said, I believe in integrity, and I believe in doing things the right way. I believe in hard work. I believe in winning championships. And everyone at VCU, I, I think, will, is going to be welcome to hear that, because I believe in winning championships. But more importantly, I, I certainly believe in the student-athlete experience. I love mentoring student-athletes. I, I love being around student-athletes and, and helping them go from their teen years to adults. Uh, it's, it's incredibly rewarding. But, but those are the things I love, and I love doing it every day while living the university's mission and vision. Uh, this is a wonderful place. It's an exciting place. And we look forward to living that mission every day and that vision every day of what VCU can become. People ask me when I, over the last couple of days why I was so interested in the job. And I think it's a pretty simple answer. 
you, you have the ability here to take a success story and make it something incredibly special. There are a lot of people in this business, a lot of ADs who take jobs, uh, but not a lot of them can say when they wake up, we can win a national championship here. Uh, it, it's inspiring. And, and I think VCU is a place where we can win a national championship. Uh, obviously, the level of success that some of our programs have had uh, demonstrates that. In, uh, as we move forward in, in our next chapter, uh, that's what excited me the most. It's, it's the, a chance to do something incredibly special. The recent success of the men's basketball program has been tremendous, but I want to make sure Shaka and his staff have the resources to win at an elite level every single year. And it's not just Shaka, because I want to make sure Marlene Stolings has the resources for the women's basketball program to win at an elite level every year. Uh, Marlene has a bright future as our women's basketball coach, and, and I'm excited to get working with her as well. But I, I know she has a bright future, and I want to make sure she has the resources. And at the end of the day, it's not just Shaka and Marlene, but it's all of our coaches and all of our sport programs being able to create sustainable success and, and, and finding a way to have huge amounts of success in the classroom, in the community, and in winning championships. And that's my goal, and, and it will be from, from the day I, I, I start here in a few weeks. That will be my goal every day. VCU has reached incredible heights, as all of you know. Um, but the climb has just started, in my opinion. Um, certainly, it's new for me, but I think the climb has just started. We've reached a point, and that's great, but uh, we have an, another point to reach. And, and I'm excited to, to have all of you climb that, that path with me. We have the ability to have a national impact in everything that we do and do it without compromise. We have a university president and university administration who want to win, who will support you to win. And that's incredibly important. You ask any athletic director what the best jobs are, and they'll say, who's got the best presidents? And we really do have that president here in, in Dr. Michael Rao, um, being supportive and, and wanting VCU athletics to, to reach incredible heights. And we have donors, we have corporate partners, we have fans, we have the Ram Nation, who, uh, who will support us in, in our efforts to win at a national level. Now, over the next few months, I'll spend a lot of time meeting all of you and, and meeting folks that aren't here today. I'll spend a lot of time listening. I'll spend a lot of time learning about VCU and the Richmond community. And I'll, I'll spend a lot of time working very hard at that. But at the end of the day, VCU athletics is much bigger than me. VCU athletics is much bigger than our coaches. VCU athletics is much bigger than any student athlete who puts on a Ram jersey. VCU athletics is Richmond's team. And the city of Richmond, really, VCU athletics belongs to the city. It belongs to the VCU alumni base. It belongs to the Commonwealth of Virginia, and it belongs to the Ram Nation. It's yours, and, and we'll do our best uh, to make you proud every single day. I promise you that. You know, as I said at the beginning, it's a great day to be a Ram. It really is. It's a great day to be a Ram. Uh, our family's looking forward quite a bit to being here and becoming a part of the VCU family. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly looking to celebrating our first win at the Home Team Grill uh, very, very soon, and hopefully we're doing a lot of it, and, and I know we will be. But, uh, but thanks for all for being here. Uh, thanks for, for everything that you do for VCU Athletics and go Rams.